Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day you're watching today, Sasha here, and um, yeah, it's long overdue, today is actually Friday, but um, I'm doing this video for Wellness Wednesday, and um, y'all, I wanted to talk about this because this is very interesting, oh, excuse me, so... The vegan menu items are basically um, vegan, like really pretty much dairy free. Um, as you know, or may not know, I am lactose intolerant. So there's certain things that I don't want to chance and consume and then have the abdominal and GI discomfort that a lactose intolerant person would have when they, you know, come into contact with uh, dairy. So my thing is I can't have um, ice cream, really dairy creams. Dairy creams really, really get to my stomach and um, like they almost, it, it gets to the point where it capacitates me. But, um, I still manage, you know, to <laughs> take some Pepto-Bismol if I slip up and take a dairy product. But I'm just interested because, like, I see this trend of restaurants and food products pushing non-dairy products such as, you know, like dairy-free ice cream, uh, dairy-free yogurt, dairy-free coffee creamer, dairy-free um, milk, of course, uh, dairy-free menu items. So I recently, and this will tie into what would be Thursdays, the day after, or yesterday's, Thirsty Thursday, I'm actually going to try a product from Dunkin' Donuts, which is their oat milk um, flavored or oat milk mixed uh, iced coffee. So oat milk is new to me. I've tried oat milk um, like once before. And um, it tastes pretty much the same. I've had uh, Dunkin' Donuts' is almond milk, which is basically their uh, blue diamond almond milk. And, um, you know, compared to what I'm doing for tomorrow's episode of Thirsty Thursday, is I'm comparing this to how it typically tastes um, with... Whatchamacallit, y'all? How it typically tastes with, you know, my usual iced coffee that I do, uh, be it at home or um, at the restaurant. So, I'm just so grateful. I don't know if it's because of the vegan trend, because, you know, to also go dairy-free, you um, can take a vegan diet and... Um, I mean, I, I like my eggs and I like my meat, so I don't see myself partaking in a, ver a strictly vegan or vegetarian lifestyle. But I am grateful to this, you know, uprising for dietary concerns from these restaurants. Of course, it's not perfect. There are, um, there are, you know, different ways in which you know dairy can sneak in but as long as for me personally as long as it's not sour cream heavy cream ice cream cream cheese um and like regular cow's milk i'm fine i could take any other type of dairy but um i went to the store today y'all i went to the store today because like we are well, I'm preparing a nice seafood boil for dinner. 
But also, y'all, um, we needed some meat, right? So, you know, just to parouse around the store and see, like, a lot of dairy-free stuff, such as dairy f- dairy-free ice cream, dairy-free keto ice cream, um, dairy-free coffee creamer, dairy-free milk, of course, lactate, that's my road dog. And also, y'all, dairy-free, um, you know, store chains like Publix, like Winn-Dixie or um, Southeast Grocers, because we have a Winn-Dixie, we have a Harvey's, and we have Bilo. So we have all those mixed up in uh, my area, and it's weird, but whatever. (laughs) So, um, you know, I just find it... Oh, certain swirls have uh, are vegan. I'm well. I'm telling y'all the the flavoring that I have for my coffee is pumpkin swirl. So it might have a bit of dairy in it, but usually with dairy, because I've had the pumpkin swirl coffee before. Um, the thing is. Um, with the swirls, they don't bother my stomach as much as, like, if I were to put milk in the coffee or if I were to put, um, cream, like, heavy cream in the coffee or half and half. But it's interesting that some swirls, only the mocha swirl is, um, vegan. It doesn't have... Um, it doesn't have dairy or whatever, but yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, oh Lord, it's raining. (laughs) All right. So Dunkin' Donuts, they're now like really pushing oat milk and, um, I guess oat milk was like a regional thing, but now that oat milk, I guess is available nationwide, you know? Is it one of those instances where I'll jump on it? And, of course, you know, almond milk, to me, it has, like, a, of course, that nutty taste because it's made from almonds. But, I don't know, y'all. I think oat milk is more of my jam. If this um, coffee that I'm going to try for you all later on is going to have that same, you know, sort of mouthfeel like dairy milk. Because, I mean, like, when almond milk first came out, I jumped on it because I was like, ooh, it's non-dairy. I don't have to worry about it wrecking my stomach. But, you know, it had that nutty aftertaste. But oats, oats really, like, I don't know. I've never had oat milk by itself. But, um, you know, if it does have, like, an aftertaste to it, then, you know, I don't want to, I'll just stick with lactate. We'll put it like that. Lactate or silk or whatever the case may be. But, yeah, y'all, I just wanted to, oh, and um, if, in case you're interested uh, with the other items that I'm interested in being lactose intolerant there's lactate um lactate ice cream um greek yogurt any greek yogurt greek yogurt I take a lot better than regular yogurt um lactate milk so delicious so delicious has their coconut line of dairy alternatives so I know um, I want to try their yogurt I want to try their ice cream Um, of course my store my local grocery store brand stuff so store brand um, lactose free milk store brand um, yogurt store brand dairy free frozen treats uh, ben and Jerry's, there's only like one flavor, non-dairy flavor that I want to try. Um, but I'm not really big on ice cream. I'm more of a savory person.
person. I like savory food. But I mean, still, um, it, it's good to try once in a while for me. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Butter doesn't bother me either. But I, I have tried ghee. Ghee has a nuttier taste than like regular butter. But for dinner tonight, I'm doing a seafood boil. And um, I personally don't mind. Um, I personally don't mind butter. Like butter doesn't bother me. And I only use like one stick of butter for the whole thing. Um, I kind of do a mixture of butter and then the broth that the seafood and vegetables were cooking in so yeah y'all i mean it, i just find it interesting i'm very thankful that this is a thing also starbucks um they do have the dairy-free alternatives they've been at it like that's how it should be but um there's not a dairy or excuse me there's not a starbucks near me so <laughs> That's going to change, though. They're building a Starbucks where in which an area I would never think that, you know. It's, like, way out of the way. But, you know, like, their matcha drink with the coconut milk, that was divine. And also their golden drink, that was pretty good. So I could try more Starbucks things because they're building one. As soon as they get that one up and running, then, yeah, sure. But yeah, y'all, just a quick um, interesting point I wanted to bring up with Duncan. Uh, no, now it's Duncan. It's not Duncan Donuts. I keep forgetting about that. But um, yeah, they have. Well, that's another thing I wanted to try, y'all. But I really want to try this um, oat milk. See what the what the. What the deal is. <laughs> okay, it froze. So that's time for me to go, y'all. So, folks, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate you stopping on by. Y'all know my philosophy for YouTube. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, please don't be a stranger. Leave it in the comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the products that I try, reviews I push out, the topics I talk about. And folks, I will see you very shortly to catch up with uh, Thirsty Thursday in which we will be trying the Dunkin' Donuts um, pumpkin latte or pumpkin, excuse me, iced coffee. So I hope you'll join me then. Until then, folks, take care, take it easy, make it a great day today and every day, be safe, stay vigilant, <clears throat> don't go out unless you necessarily have to, but if you do, please wear a mask, please have hand sanitizer on deck, and wash your hands thoroughly if you get the chance. Also, do have, uh, or do practice social distancing um we are starting in fall so be very careful because this virus has the um you know the ability to spike up again due to the change in weather all righty y'all so i'm gonna go ahead get ready and taste this coffee so sasha signing off bye now <laughs>